great at breakups, but I try to get around them. Like, if I'm in a relationship and a girl wants to have the talk, you know, she's like, let's sit down, we should, we should talk about things. As I follow her and I pull out my cell phone and I start to play that Sad Humane Society song from Sarah McLaughlin. <laughs> and I just give her puppy dog eyes and see one in the eyes of an angel. You'll be so close to me. And she gives me treats and adopts me, so it's, it, lasts, it lasts at least six more months, so it's fine. Did my voice just crack? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Apparently you can go through puberty at 31. That's, I'm a miracle of science. Even there's, there's even times when I go on dates and I think they're going well, and they don't. I go on a date with this girl, we did paint nights, we got hot chocolate, we strolled downtown Salt Lake, you know, and it was going well, and then the check gets there, and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna be bold, I'm gonna be brave, I'm gonna ask her on a second date. So I looked her in the eyes and said, look, I'm having a great time, we made art together. Yeah, we both got extra whipped cream on our hot chocolate, isn't that cute? <laughs> so I kind of figured maybe we should you know, go out sometime, like go out again. And she looked at me dead in the eyes and said, I'm actually just here for a free meal, so. Oh! I know, booze and hiss. It, it did happen. You've seen me, right? You, can, you have good eyesight. <laughs> But that's fine, you know, she went to the restroom and I got the fuck out of there, so I got the free meal! Yeah. I'm sorry, this is, this is probably a horrible thing to say, but... You should only expect a free meal if you have enough points on your subway card. Sorry. I said that punchline once and someone from the crowd yelled, You look like Jared if he gave up! <laughs> We've all seen an ambitious Jared, clearly I'm the winner in that scenario, so. <laughs> Whatever that man's eating, it's not fresh, I can say that. <laughs> There's times in my life that uh, I wish I knew a Jedi. I feel like Jedis are very knowledgeable, they're snappy dressers, you know, they, they, get, they get to wear robes all day long. Do you know that? They're like the dude with swords, though. But there, there's times that like I don't think a Jedi would help me in my life, because although they give good advice, I think the only advice they could give me is dating advice. Because their answer to everything is use the Force. Yeah, so things got real in here. It becomes a point where this just becomes a Metachlorian roofie. I am not the man with the paternity test you're looking for. My nerdiness actually gets me in trouble sometimes. If you can't tell, I'm a, I'm a huge nerd. Like, I like things, I'm not big and nerdy, so let's get that the fuck out of my But, yeah, I thank you for... You noticed that I was wearing the flesh. Which is sad, because I actually don't move that fast, so it's kind of, you know, an oxymoron. <laughs> but there's a time when my nerdiness got me in probably in a very awkward situation is when I was standing uh, outside the gift shop of Warner Brothers and I bought a Harry Potter wand and I pulled it out and started playing with it. Which I know that sounds bad. I pulled my wand out and started playing with it. Not where I'm going with this. But I took it out of the box and I started waving it around. And then this, uh, one of the very kind men who worked there saw me doing this out of the corner of his eye. It's really honest. And he comes up to me and he's like, wow. What do you got there, buddy? <laughs> what is that? I was like, oh, it's a Harry Potter wand. It's pretty sweet. I can cast spells with it and everything. It's awesome. He's like, who bought that for you? Who was it? I'm like, I, uh, I bought it myself. Oh, wow. With your own money and everything? I was like, hold on a second. Like, I know I'm wearing Walmart jeans. Do I seem poor to you? What's going on? And he had just this look wash over his face. And he's like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm like, no, it's okay, I'm overweight. I'm used to disappointment. Tell me what's going on. And he looks at me and he's like, I thought you were mentally challenged. 
So, rule of thumb, don't play with the Harry Potter one because, you know, shit happens, shit gets real. I love, like, the advancement in technology seasons. Like, I can talk in my watch like Dick Tracy, which if you're over 30, you get that reference. More commonly, Power Ranger, I can talk in my watch like a Power Ranger. <laughs> but there's some things we don't need advancements in technology for, like sex toys. I don't want to attach a flashlight to an iPad and fuck it while I watch Sex in the City. That's not something I want to do. There's only one sex toy I actually understand, and that's a blow-up doll. Yeah. It's the only sex toy that, if you're caught with it, matches your embarrassments. I don't know her. She's... That seems like I used that happened to me. That did not happen to me. I should probably tell you guys. Speaking, of, I love technology too because uh, I don't have a car and I can actually order cars to pick me up. Which a lot of people give me shit for not having a car, so I started telling them I have a personal driver. Like I was on a date and this girl's like, "What's that like? What's it like to have a personal driver? Like, well, it's like Uber but better." Well, it's an Uber XL, so technically it is better, so I'm not a liar. You know, the, here's the sad thing about our day and age is most people in this room have gotten a dick pic sent to them. Yeah, no. I got one sent to me the other day and I'm like, this is horrible, what is going on? I never asked for it either. I thought it was a hokey for a second when I got excited. And then I realized it was not. But, but why, do men, why do we have this urge to send girls dick pics? Like, I have a theory about this. Uh, our dick is the best dick in the world. We put our dick on a pedestal. My dick is great! Look at it! It's amazing! We try to put, make you guys think that we're artistic, we add a little filter to it, something about a black and white and a sepia just <laughs> makes it pop. But we're, not even that, we don't want you guys to enjoy it, we actually want you guys to be proud of us. Yeah. We're like a cat with a dead mouse in his mouth, coming over and saying, here it is. Look, look what I made for you, I made this. So we don't, like, even when we send a dick pic to a girl, they don't have to answer. We're like, yes, she loves it. So if you do respond, don't say, you, gross, or nice, that's hot, or think it's a hoagie like I did. Just say, you know what, I'm proud of you. You're brave. You are a brave man. There's a lot of bravery. Don't do that. Don't send dick pics. They're very... Very horrific. <laughs> I, uh, I sometimes smoke weed, so, yeah. Ooh, all the undercover cops say, what? I always love it, though. Every time I find out someone else smokes weed, it's like I'm a superhero and I found out they're a superhero. <laughs> Holy shit, you're Batman? I'm Superman! Why aren't we hanging out, like, forever ago? We could have hotboxed the back cave and have Alfred bring us some treats and prank call the commissioner. <laughs> I'll end on this though. I really, really hate traveling. And it's not because of like all the things you have to go through these days. You gotta get a passport now. You have to get there three hours early. I hate it because when they pat me down, it makes me realize this is the most action I'm gonna get in months. <laughs> It's sad, and I start, I start to like get into it a little bit. I'm like, hey, um, do you mind calling me a uh, naughty Dutch boy, please? That's not a gun. I'm just happy to see you, but yeah. And I start to like tease them a little bit too. I'm just kind of like, do you have any sharp objects, sir? Maybe. <laughs> Guys, I'm Christopher James. Thanks so much. <laughs>
Alright, give it up one more time for Christopher James. So, you can find him on Twitter at Fat Guy Punchline. And I'm not making that up. It is at Fat Guy Punchline. I don't know where he came up with that at all. But isn't he sweet? We love Christopher James. All right.